Mein Zaro geht zum Marienbild. Hi folks and welcome to the next video. So this is just an update video just on some of the pets that we've got as I like to call them. So again we have an Alika Taxel, our Jumping Spider Charm, our other male spider, three of the Ghost Mantises, a Budwing Mantis, our Deadly Phlebotic um, Mantis and also the Ice Pods and there's lots and lots of babies that we can actually see now. So we'll have a little look at him. And just a, one thing I must mention is I had something sent to me today, I wasn't sure what it was. I won't show it because of the address obviously, but it was from Scott's Invit, so cheers for that dude. Some stickers, I will pop them on the side up here, and uh, great these are, um, I am thinking of getting some done myself. So what I'll do also guys is I will pop in a link to Scott's um, YouTube channel. You need to go watch this guy, he's got some really great stuff, um, very very interesting channel. And when I say a lot of stuff, he do not just keep one thing, he's got tons and tons of stuff, millipedes, I've seen him keep some, keep some giant moths, um, he's got tarantulas obviously, I'm not sure if he's got mantises, I think I've seen a few of them but I'm not sure if he's got any at the moment but yeah, he's got some great stuff including the sassy books which is something I'm really tempted to get myself so I'll pop his link up at the end um, into one of his videos that you can go and watch and subscribe from there he's a great guy he needs your support so what we're going to do is we'll get our Budwing Mantis out who actually has shed the other day um, after having her I knew she was going shed because she was feeding up and she was staying still a lot so um, I'm not sure she was a pre-sub adult I um, may be wrong because she looks like she's got wings now So here's Nala, she has actually shed and she has got some little wings on there so I would probably say she's an adult now, she's doing great. So he is a, one of our free ghost mantises. Um, they have had a couple of sheds since we've had them. Um, one in particular is struggling a little because it's damaged its claws and we're hand feeding that one. And hopefully it'll get through the shed, the next shed, and probably repair itself from there. Now one of these is going to a new home. We have found somebody at my works where the parents have so in some interest in them for their children. And um, they've seen some photos and videos of them and fallen absolutely in love with them. So we thought it'd be great to get some kids started on some new mantises and a different pet. They have kept some reptiles on that before, so hopefully one of these will be going to a new home. Whether I'll be recording that, I don't know, because that's down to their parents if they want to be on YouTube or not. But it would make a great addition if it could. So what we'll do now is we'll probably get our old girl, um, our Deadopletus Lobata out and show her here because she's probably at the last stages, like I said last time. I would imagine she's got a couple of months left because she's about 11 to 12 months old. So, and then we'll have a look at the jumping spiders. So here is my um, Deadleaf Mantis, and yes, yeah, she's an old girl now. Um, she had a belly food, full of food the other day. We actually fed her a giant moth that came into the house. Not always advised to um, feed live prey from outside because of parasites and stuff, but she was really interested in it, seeing it flying around the house, so you know. We thought she was near the end of her life, so we'd give her something um, different, and she absolutely enjoyed it. Um, 
can't explain the excitement in her eyes and the way she moved and seeing it floating around in her exoterra tank and she just wants to hide and pop back she is very camera shy as you can see so we'll pop her back and we'll have a look at the isopods and then the jumping spiders so here are the isopods and there is absolutely loads of them we've um, done really well with this and I'm just pulling some of this back so you'll see a lot of the babies soon and there they are absolutely loads of babies in there they are everywhere I would say there's probably hundreds and the springtails are doing a great job and these are just the oak leaves that have added cuttlefish just here that they've absolutely munched and I'll probably change that tomorrow but yes as you can see there's lots and lots of these dairy cattle ice pods and they're doing great in this enclosure just some little bits of rotting wood oak leaves here all obviously these have been baked and um, cleaned before adding and there's the lots and lots of them there as you can see so yes um, no doubt i'm um, getting in touch with some of the groups here um, there'll be somebody who wants some of these when i'm part with some because i will end up with too many and these will go in my bioactive setups um, which i am going to be doing a video on soon i've been waiting for the spiders to molt and they have and hopefully i can get it done before the next molt and we'll be doing pimp my grip crib edition with um, the little acrylic tanks we'll be doing them up for the jumping spiders so they've got something to happy to live in um, and probably going to try make a little custom hide for them out of the top with the uh, cocoa fibre so keep an eye out for that guys so we're just filming charm and she's being an absolute plonker just it's just took me about five to ten minutes to get her to calm down she's going crazy and she's off again here she goes so here's charm and she loves coming out to have a little play on this plant I think I may actually introduce this one to her enclosure at Tear Fair. So my other little male regal, not Axel, is actually in his little hammock at the moment and I don't want to disturb him because I think he is actually due to molt soon. Um, he had a bit of trouble with his last molt on one of his front legs, which isn't the same size, but it should correct itself. He's eating fine, so I don't really want to disturb him and take him out. I want to leave him where he is. So you don't want to be disturbing him when they're in their hammocks. I do know they build these in any case sometimes and stay in them, but he's usually quite active. So here's Axel. He's my fully grown regal male spider and he can be a little bit grumpy sometimes, bless him. Go! Oh, so, back to it. So, one thing I have to say is the word OOM, which I say a lot and I've done quite good in the past few videos and I'm trying not to say it now. So, um, I'm sorry for saying OOM so much. The other thing I must add is earlier on when I was talking about the mouse disease, I cannot pronounce the number FREE. So, it might have sounded like they were FREE, but I meant I have FREE. I will try. Three, and I don't want to be doing that in my videos, <laughs> so just bear with me and it's a good laugh to have. So, hope you enjoyed the videos. I'm going to pop that link up here in the description to Scott's Invades. Go and give him a subscribe. Watch him, great guy. Really going to enjoy them videos. Everybody, thanks for watching. All the support's been great. The videos are booming. I really, really am enjoying doing these, and I hope I see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.